It was the summer of 74 when Sly gave me a call and asked me if I could uh, help him design a costume look for an album cover. Naturally, he wanted me to, to work with my other two associates, uh, one Calvin Durham, who was an excellent rivet uh, stud man, and he was the one guy I knew that was like a mechanic when it came to putting costumes together with rivets and studs, etc. I could actually do the same thing, but I just didn't have the patience. Plus, I was better at probably punching the holes and lining things up. He was better at doing the fast rivet. In any event, that's what Sly wanted, uh, a 160-pound leather rhinestone stud and riveted nail head rivet suit. So I had to really reach back a little bit, think about it carefully, and then of course I suggested several photographers, uh, one of whom was Helmut Newton who had just done a feature film with uh, Faye Dunaway called uh, The Eyes of Laura Mars, and I said this guy's great, this is the guy you want to work with, this is the guy I feel is moving forward in the industry in fashion, film, etc. So we went with Helmut Newton, me, Calvin, Sly, we all put these costume ideas together. And uh, this particular costume, the black leather with the studs, was chosen for the album cover amongst, say, five other costumes. The other costume portions, parts, and pieces could be used for other marketing uh, material later. In any event, that set the scene for another gothic image of Sly Stone. The first scene, the more uh, rock renaissance western image with the suede, the fringes, the beads, and the fancy stud and stitch work. That was something that was more exclusive to California and probably more exclusive to the romantic look that I liked and, and leather fashions. But in this particular case, this was costume material built around a certain iconic symbolic message that only Sly Stone understood. The rest of us would be able to interpret it through his music, and of course, probably after taking LSD or some other psychedelic uh, aphrodisiac and really getting into the sound and the sequence of events that, or the pattern that usually followed after he took these psychedelics. But there you have it, Sly and the Family Stone for your consideration. <laughs>